Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel and I'm now answering question number um, which question is it again? It's part D of question number six um, from the October November 2021 IGCSC Cambridge uh, 0580 paper 4 variant 2 and this question here part D is all about completing the square it says expression 5 plus 12 x minus 2 x squared can be written in the form q minus 2 times bracket x plus p squared find the value of p and the value of q okay so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to rewrite this to make x squared in the front so i've got minus 2 x squared plus 12 x plus 5. okay now we can um i don't want to have when i want to complete the square I don't want to have a, any number in front of the x squared or as a coefficient of x squared except 1. So this negative 2, I'm going to write it down like this. And I'm going to take out that negative 2 from this x squared. So I'm taking it out like almost uh, like a factor. Okay, although it doesn't have to be a factor of both these terms. Because I want to just take the, I wanted to make this 1x squared. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, so whether the negative 2 or the 2 is a factor of the 12 or not, doesn't matter. I want to take it out, so whatever number is in front of the x, I have to divide it now by negative 2. So that, that's going to give me minus 6x. If I multiply this out, I'm going to close the bracket here. If I, if I, if I multiply this out, I'm going to get minus 2x squared and plus 12x. So these, this, this right now is exactly, exactly the same as these two terms. And then I'm going to put plus 5 at the end. That's how I like to deal with it. Some people like to take out the minus 2 from all three terms and have minus 2, then x squared minus 6x, and then minus 5 over 2. But I like to keep it in this form. I find it much easier to deal with. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to complete the square for whatever's inside this bracket here. So I have minus 2. And then for this, I'm going to complete the square because now it's in the form of x squared, 1x squared, that you can complete the square for this. So I'm going to have a square bracket. Now I know that this is going to be x and if there's a minus here I put minus and then I write down half of the coefficient of the x term so that, because that's going to give me 3. All right. Why do we do this? Because when you expand a square bracket the middle term is always double the number in this position here. So this will be x squared minus 6x plus 9. Now we don't want a plus 9. There's no plus 9 here. So I'm going to take away the 9 Okay, and then I'm going to close this bracket and I'm going to write the plus 5. So I've completed the square for what's inside this bracket here. That gives me x minus 3 squared minus 9. If I expand this, I'm going to get x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 9, which gives me x squared minus 6x, which is the same as that. Now I can complete this by um, writing minus 2 times, I'm going, to, I'm going to basically distribute this minus 2 in these two terms. Of course, without expanding the bracket, because I want the square in here. Minus 2 times the minus 9 is plus 18. And then I got plus 5. So that gives me minus 2 times x minus 5 squared plus 23. 18 plus 5 is 23. So now we can write it in this form. Um, 23 minus 2 times x plus p squared. Sorry, I'll write it in this form. x minus 3 squared x minus 3 squared that's exactly what this gives you 23 minus 2 times x minus 3 squared so you can see here the q is equal to 23 and the p is equal to negative 3 p is equal to negative 3 so p equals negative 3 and q is 23 those are the values of p and of q in this question so that's part d part one and then it says write down the coordinates of the maximum point on the curve y equals 5 plus 12x minus 2x squared. So you end up with y equals. Now if I see, this is exactly the same as what we had here. 5 plus 12x minus 2x squared. You have to make sure it's the same. So this is going to be the same as what we've written here. So it's going to be 23 minus 2 times x minus 3 squared. Now when something's in this form, when a quadratic equation is in this form, you can write down the coordinates of the vertex. In this case, it's going to be a maximum point because this is a curve that opens downwards because the x squared term has a negative. And the reason why we can write out the vertex from this is because this particular expression, its maximum value it will ever be is 23. 
So the y value of this is going to be 23. The highest value you can ever reach is 23. Because you're always subtracting something from 23. 23 times 2 times... 23 minus 2 times something. So you're always subtracting something from 23. Now this term in here, when you square it, of course, it's going to become positive. So you're always subtracting something from 23. You're not, you're not going to have 23 minus minus. Because this is always going to be uh, positive when you square it. And so you're taking away something from 23 always. You're never adding anything to 23. So the highest value this can ever be is 23. And, um, you know, when will it reach its highest value? When you take away nothing from it. Okay, when, you, when it's 23 minus 0. So what causes this expression to become 0? Well, when the x value is 3. Okay, when x is 3, this bracket becomes 0. And you've got 2 times 0, which is 0. 23 minus 0 is 23. So this is the highest that can ever reach. It can never go higher than that. Okay, it can always be lower than that, but never higher than that. So that's why 323 is, is the vertex. So whenever you're writing the vertex, basically some people memorize it, but it's good to understand why. Um, it's, it's always going to be the x value which makes the bracket 0. So it's always the opposite of this number. So if this is negative 3, this will be 3. And then what's left behind when x when x uh, when 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 the bracket becomes zero is the y value of the vertex. Okay, so the vertex is always going to be the x value that makes this bracket zero, and then the number left on the outside. That's the y value. So three twenty three is the coordinates of the vertex of this point. Now for question part E, it's all about a different topic, which is variation. So I'm going to t do part E on another part of the video. If you'd like to see parts um, A and B and C, they will be in a link that you can find in this part of the video here. Um, if, you, uh, the, if you want to see other questions from this paper, including part E, you can click on this link over here for the playlist for this paper. And you can find uh, um, questions to do with um, quadratics and completing the square in the link that you can find in this part of the paper and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching and see you soon